Good morning. This weekend, we're in one of our favourite places. It's not a festival. We're in Amsterdam because we had naught to do. We're going to have a great time. Mary's never been. Jake's never been. We're going to start off with some culture, a traditional Amsterdamian breakfast. <laughs> Thank you so much to our executive producers on Patreon for supporting TPD TV. We couldn't keep running this channel without you. Join now for early access to videos and extended cuts and a new freshly populated TPD archive featuring long lost videos from the past 15 years as well as discord access to chat to the guys why are you getting cash out dan even though it's legal over here chicken and mushroom pot noodle has to be bought with cash and i don't understand that whatsoever let me tell you the downfall with hanging out with this group including myself we'll look for something quite specific like somewhere on the water where we can sit outside and have a beer and we'll find that exact thing and go let's keep looking for no reason and then three or four down the line we're all tired why do we do that well i was happy in the last place right we've had a, we've had a, a somewhat disjointed morning disjointed Razzy's booked as an executive hotel and we've got three rooms and I can't wait to see him. 30 minute Uber and it's gonna be worth the wait. Isn't that right, Razzy? Yeah, it's right. <laughs> This Maybe. looks nice here. This is not somewhere I expected us to be staying in Amsterdam, but it's a pleasant surprise. The only issue about this trip is Danny White's a fucking idiot. If you ever wanted to just get off the grid and come somewhere, come to a place just like this. With phone in your hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's literally gone down the trench. How cute is this? When I learned we were staying in caravans. Oh my God, there's a fucking massive wasp. Oh, it just flew out. Thank fuck for that. What was I saying? Did it fly out or was that just another wasp? I think we're good. When I first learned we were staying in caravans, I was like, oh, fuck me. But this is like better than anything. I go, fuck. There is something in here still. When I first learned that we were going to be staying in a camper van, I was shitting myself a little bit. Never expected that we'd be somewhere as gorgeous as this. Right, me and Dan have just seen the biggest wasp on my oh, neck. <laughs> Look at that's the size of that! That's one of those that MB wonders about. Oh my god! Monster. What what are we going to do about that? They kill I, you in one sting. Then sorry, but I, not to be a diva, but I can't do that. Mary, can you point it out? It's like here. Um, oh, if you open the curtain, it's crawling back up. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'm putting protection on its netting. It can't sting through its net. It would be surprising if it survived, but it would survive. Oh, what about that one though? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, this is nice around here, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Where are we? Ajax Football Stadium. Ajax, it's pronounced Ajax. Ajax. It's Ajax. The spicy tandoori chicken here. Quite well, that's a great composition, that, isn't it? Yeah. Crispy on bottom. Yeah. It's really hard to pace when boxes are cutting off the relation to the urethra. <laughs> So this place is called the Ziggo Dome. I don't know what the capacity is, but I'll put it on the screen now. And it's a very square, very cubic venue. Come on, Val, let's get it down your neck. What is going on with this guy? He's a deplorable. My right testicle really aches. Terrible. Shouldn't have had them cut off then? I didn't have them cut off, I had a vasectomy, and now it really aches for no fucking reason. The is I'm sorry. That's all right. Me too. Well, actually, you know what? <laughs> Proven to not be a virgin. I have a baby. He's got a kid. Uh, Thank you, puss. Very emotional. What a great fucking show. What a great guy. Now let's get fucked up. Incredible. Just as every fucking time we see him, I can't talk. Massimo's not you. Massimo's not you. Massimo's not you. Massimo's not you. Massimo's not you.
Oh, what a great night's sleep. I woke up just in time to tell all you lovely people about our great collaboration with Emma Sleep. So Emma Sleep is the one-stop shop for all your sleep needs. I've been lucky enough that they sent me one of their mattresses and I've never had a better night's sleep than I've had the past month with this mattress. I love to get my eight hours sleep. You've all seen my festival setups. We all spend about a third of our lives sleeping and you want to make that experience as comfortable and as nice as possible. So now I've made me brew, I'm going to head straight back into my Emma Sleep mattress and duvet set. Now I'm back in my bed with my lovely Emma Sleep duvet, my gorgeous plump Emma Sleep pillow that you can adjust the comfort level. You can take a little bit of filling out if you want, just to make it just right like I've done. And the pièce de résistance is the beautiful six layer Emma Sleep mattress. What are you doing in my bed, Bridie? I'm sorry, Rob, I, I know it's your bed, but I just wanted to try all the lovely Emma Sleep stuff out. How many times do I need to tell you, Bridie? You can buy one yourself and try it out for 200 nights, and if you don't like it, you can return it within those 200 nights. Wow, Rob, a 200 night trial. But what about the guarantee? Bit of a strange question to ask there, Bridie, but if you must know, the Emma Sleep mattress comes with a 10 year guarantee, so a full decade's worth of guarantee on your mattress. Hmm. That all sounds pretty good. If there was only somebody's code I could use. What are you on about? I don't even know what you're talking about. I know what you're looking at. I think I know a way to get an additional discount on top of Emma Sleep's already brilliant promotions. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go try it out. So I can see they've got the Valentine's Day sale on. How are we going to get an extra exclusive discount on top of that, like you mentioned earlier? Well, we're going to use TPD TV's exclusive code. Put the code up here so all our lovely viewers can get that exclusive 5% off, as well as the additional discount that Emma Sleep already offers. We might not be the best actors in the world, World, but we are the comfiest sleepers. A big thank you to Emma for sponsoring this video. Click the link in the description, use that code on screen right now, get yourself a new mattress, invest in yourself, invest in your health, invest in your sleep, isn't that right? That is the best way forward, mate. Look after yourself, get a great night's sleep. And if you treat yourself to a new mattress, we promise to never subject you to acting that bad ever again. Now back to the content, Bye. hey, cheers. <laughs> cheers, brother. Massimo's not you. Massimo's not you. You are a pedophile. Not sure what bullshit they fucking spotted to you, but we're in a taxi, aren't we? Um, it's like one in the morning. Excalibur's good. It's not really good. Go and put Mary in a non-wasp associated bed. <laughs> Save me from the hell that I was assigned. We have to bar? We have to exit. Because they're closed. Fucking well early. It's like only two o'clock and they're like shutting shop. What are you laughing about, man? What are you laughing about? Everywhere's close. Oh. City that never sleeps. Like, that's what it's known as. Yeah. The city that never sleeps, Los Angeles. So our favourite pizza king is being closed, it's been shut down. We've finally found somewhere that has kebabs. As spicy as you can do. Yeah, that's what I like. We got some three foods. We got, three, we got some three yeah, foods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now all three of us are going to food it. Oh. We're having a nice food. How are we feeling? Good. We'll see you in the morning. Oh, that one, can I into the Come on. Hey, what did it do? Good morning, everyone. On a what is a fucking gorgeous day. But because it's a gorgeous day, like the caravan was so fucking hot last night. Very comfy bed. Amazing bed. It's nice to come sit out here, listen to the birds tweeting. I think we're going to do a touristy day today, so I'm really excited to do that. I'm also excited to show you guys each of our caravans, because i tell you what, they are pretty cool. Well, it's approaching two o'clock. Guess what? Everyone's still fucking asleep. I'm bored of it now. I want to go into Amsterdam. I want these people to wake up. Good God. 
I've slept in till half two in the afternoon. What a ridiculous time to wake up. So this morning we're gonna show you around where we're staying, but before we do that, I wanna show you this. This is a PSP game called Passport to Amsterdam. And it's basically a tour guide that you use on your PSP. Now this was sent to us in the PO box back when we were doing that. I'd love to keep doing it, but the post office shut it down and I don't know how to reactivate it. Welcome to Tralala. What is Tralala, Jake? Tralala is this place. Raz, how much did this place cost? This much. <laughs> okay, I wonder, what do we think about it? This. <laughs> <laughs> so, while we were looking for places to stay in Amsterdam, we couldn't find a hostel under a grand, so Razzy pulled a blinder and booked us in what we thought was some ropey caravans, but it's actually turned out to be quite nice with a few little caveats. So we're gonna show you all around it and show you what you get for this much. This is a bench. There's plenty of wildlife to see. This is the Festival Republic stage where Lee's Fest trial out booking some of the worst bands they ever could and it's where they came up with this. It's actually the breakfast area which we haven't used. Welcome to the main bedroom where the main man them sleep, that's me and Robert Cox. So the thing is about here is like it seems to be all about just being outside which is great because you spend too much time fucking about inside. So like in here there's literally just a bed and two chairs and it's a well comfortable bed. Queen size I think, oh and it's like, that's got to be like memory foam. It is, yeah. Crying. Is that an Emma Sleeps mattress on there, Drew? <laughs> <laughs> what else do you want? Power, two chairs, bed, and get the fuck outside. It's true. You've got so few bugs. Uh, why don't you show us what you mean by showing us your oh, sleeping claws? It's not my sleeping claws, it's Mary's that you've got. Wait, 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 hold a minute. We're going to show them ours? Would that mean this is... Bedroom roulette. Bedroom roulette. Bedroom roulette. Bedroom roulette. Bedroom. God, there's no so energy with that. Here she is, woman of the hour. It just so happens there's no other women here, so you're by default the woman of the hour. Welcome to our humble abode. We've got a nice caravan, unlike you, with your cabin. You walk inside, you've got, well, one. Oh, oh it stinks. A chicken and mushroom pot noodles. Yeah. A lot of shit in here. But you've got a bed here, just like yours. And this isn't actually a bed. This is just like a wooden thing. But we've made it into a shape, shift bed. Because You've what? We've made it to another new bed because Mary's now sleeping in here. <laughs> I can't believe how bad it smells in here. Yeah, it's really bad in here. It smells like arse and chicken and mushroom pot noodle. And I know that sounds like something like Snoop Dogg would, would like, but it's not something I'm into. Arse is Dan. Chicken and mushroom pot noodle is also a Dan. So that's kind of Dan's smell. Yeah. Dan smells. Ooh, Dan smells. Not me. Well, we I farted at like five o'clock this morning. <laughs> well, you're not I still here it. at two o'clock this afternoon. fucking brutal. But also, you might be wondering, why is Mary staying in our caravan? Well, this is why. But before this is why, we've also got <laughs> a second caravan. And this one doesn't have a bed in it. Because this is just the one to like chill out in. Look, you've got a table. Oh, shit, mate. You've got a table where you can sit. And then you can also use the mirror. It's just an extra cabin that we paid oh, no extra for. I was working yesterday and I had to do a meeting in it and it was fine, apart from like the echo that we could pull here. And the wasp. Yeah, oh yeah, wasp came in, so there was three of us on the call. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and that segues us nicely into why Mary's not sleeping in hers. Caravan roulette, caravan roulette, caravan roulette, caravan roulette, caravan roulette, caravan roulette, caravan roulette. So you know how gorgeous it is here? And when we, me and Dan came back last night, it was pitch black and everything was locked. And it has a really eerie element. Especially because of these that just like stay white and bright in the night. So like you're looking up over. M&M. That &M. <laughs> <laughs> just looks like there's some like creepy ghost in the bush or something. So I had a camper van on my own. It's gorgeous. It's pink. Loved it from the moment I saw it. Stepped inside. So you've seen the Wasp trilogy from earlier. We came in last night just to check it out to see if we could come back in here. And there were two wasps having a little sleep on bed. So instead of being nice and warm in here, me and Dan sat out two hours without duvet. It's just like feeling sorry for ourselves. Like, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Um, what, you flinching at? There's no in here? No, some flu, but I don't think it were a wasp. This window here, you can see the tree, it's kind of growing up into the window. And this outer panel has got some cracks in. So no matter what you do, you can't actually close the window which is how things keep getting in. We'll show you the showers quickly and then maybe we should actually start our day and go into Amsterdam because it's going to be 4 p.m. by the time we get in. So these are the showers and toilets. This is where you come and shower and this is where you use the toilet. The cubicles. 
and you get a lovely little shelf. You got a little button at the back that you press, it gives you six minutes of shower, which is really good. If you want more, then just literally press it again. Oh, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> but we need more than six minutes in a shower. And finally, we're going to show you what we call the bus. That's because it's a bus, which is one of these. Come on. So this is like the kind of, almost like the shop, I suppose. You can come in here and just grab a drink. And what you do, you grab one out. Do you want a drink, Raz? No. Do you want a beer? Yeah, I'll have a beer. Grab a couple of beers. And then, how would you pay for them? Well, you get yourself a pen. You find your name on here, Ryan Eaglin, if you're so unfortunate. And you just mark off how many you've had. And just one less than you've had as well. It's based on trust, and I think that's great. And if you come in, you can like literally see that it is a bus. Uh, an old bus and um, I like cars subscribe to the channel and patreon on that and I'll see you um, in probably the next shot drinking that beer overall this place is great I think it's awesome I think it's really good as well I could and stay here for an extra night for one night longer than we're actually staying here true. and still be happy and if you're a swinger this is the place for you we think we figured that out <laughs> This is the downside of staying in this lovely rural Garden of Eden paradise is it's quite far away. Well, it's not even that far away, but no. it's outside of Amsterdam centre. So it's a 71 euro van Uber in. So you got to do the old choose van. And one of the things you have to consider if you come with five people, obviously, with a great squad here. But if you come with one less, then you can get a regular Uber and it's quite a bit cheaper. Right, 4 p.m. Day out in the <laughs> dam. So Let's do it. Um, here comes slow coach, of course it is Jake Valley. I need a shave. Going to a place called LA Burger because I've been to LA loads of times. So's done. Cheers. Cheers. You're coming home with me. Are you gonna get it? Of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> what for though? What are you gonna need to put in there? Oh, uh, grains and greens. Have oh, you ever had the, uh, posty. No, it's not. That's not posty. That's cheech and chong. Everyone's too stoned to work. I waited 10 minutes for this Guinness. And people say, yeah, but it was just settling. No, she just didn't do it. She was that fucked. She just didn't realise. And even when she asked, oh, what are you waiting for? Guinness. Oh, yeah. She went over to it and just didn't do it. And I had to get someone else to do it for me. Oi! Shut up! We'll take you straight back home. You won't go to the fucking museum. You look like that alien from American Dad. Come to Amsterdam, <laughs> and all these want to do is just sit upstairs in this part and fart really bad and get the bellies out. We're gonna do a pub crawl, but only on half pints because we get bored very quickly and we can't drink a pint very quickly either. So we're going half pints, half the drink, half the time. <laughs> we're gonna make a detox. It looks nice down there. Okay. Although it also looks like there's nothing. Uh, uh, your nipples are gonna touch. Can you not look at her nipples? Oh, you can't not. You can't you not. Make conscious. You can't you make yourself conscious. It's cold enough out here as it is. It doesn't need your fucking cold burns. But the comments said it as well. Oh, look at the comments. The, the, the comments dish, are saying it too. <laughs> Nippy Nora, that's what they call her. <laughs> This is boring. Can Fuck, we go find somewhere? Someone to do. It's this not my turn. So I picked the last Didn't one. Just said, this is very right, you're yeah, in me, control. Hey, Nora, going? find us somewhere to drink. Don't, don't try and make that Nora. stick on. Whoever picks the bar has to also tell the audience a knock-knock joke, and then you've got to decide whose was the funniest. So Mary picked this one, so you're up. Knock-knock. Who's there? A duck in a microwave. A duck in a microwave who? Bill Withers. <laughs> <laughs> so I found us our next bar. It's Rob's bar. It's this one here. Because he's a prick and it's a gay bar. Not wrong with that, mate. No, I never said those. Imagine walking around with toothpick in your mouth like you think you're some fucking hard. Imagine spitting Chris <laughs> while filming. Say what you want, but I like the halves in Europe. Halves are good because you want to see a lot of shit and you want to go around a lot of places. And a pint can just make you last a bit too long. <laughs> So we've come into this bar, come in here because many, many moons ago we had a little brownie, didn't we Robert? We did Daniel, yes, we did. And then we uh, we wandered round and we thought, oh this isn't really doing out, shall we go for a drink? Didn't we Robert? Yes Daniel, we did do that. And then we found this place, Robert had a bit of an accident, didn't you Robert? I did Daniel, yes I did. Do you want to tell him what the accident was? No. He pissed himself really badly, like a lot. He got given a wet rag to cool him down. 
thought that's the best thing since sliced bread. Started squirting the water all over his jeans, uh, and it made him look like he's pissed himself even more. But and that was after a 19-hour flight delay as well. What a great trip! Look at the state of this fucking toilet. Atrocious. Rob, smile. Right, we're gonna try somewhere else because that, that was good in there. That was, to be honest, that was everything we wanted. So to be on brand, we're gonna go somewhere else and look for the same thing. Yeah. Prices in there were good as well. Yeah, they're really good. Sixteen like, euro for full round. And they're making you get more drinks than you should. So there's this thing called Amsterdam cigarette, which I don't really know what it is, but it is like a cigarette, but a bit a bit fatter. So we're gonna give that a whirl. It smells a bit funky. Funky. Smells like Danny's room. That's good. <laughs> Just without the sweat. Did anyone know where I can get some food? <laughs> this is so invasive of everyone else's private areas. But welcome to fucking Amsterdam. You can smoke in clubs as long as it's chicken and mushroom pot noodle. Not cigarettes. It's the police as well. There's a peanut here. There's a peanut. You've got to catch him. His... <laughs> that yeah. just didn't go down well, that, I don't think. Like, his mates were just staring at us like, what are you doing? Shakira, Shakira. I found Juicy Kebab and we're going to go to Juicy Kebab. Hey, it's me, Young Wood, and I'm here to fucking represent Grill Room Donny, because I'm from Donny, and I fucking love a kebab. This is the new Pizza King this on Fuck Buddy. Hey, not yet. We're going to have it by the canal. Me like it, that. All the demons. Can you actually fuck off, Like, clawing at her shoulders, like... <laughs> Worse this sound, or is there any worse sounding ones? <laughs> you charge us 100, and I'm keeping this card machine that's in my hand. <laughs> that's the machine. Wow. Right, 90, and I'm gonna no, pay no, right no, now. No, We're gonna pay 90 no, right now. I, I give you already this Just put it to 90. You just put it to 90. We don't, we don't have to discuss about it, trust me, man. Yeah, exactly. We don't have to discuss it because, because you, because you I, put I, it empty. You're getting too close to this lady here, so I'd appreciate it. I know no, it's your no, vehicle. No, no. I'd appreciate if, if you, you didn't. If you pay me, you can go out. You can go into a it. That's entrapment. Will you say subscribe to TBD TV? Just say it and we'll pay the ride and we can go to bed. Chippy, chee, chippy, chee. Right, just pay it. <laughs> <laughs> we're, both, we're both just trying to make it work. It's good, man. It's yeah. no problem, man. Chippy, chee, chippy, chee. Have a good one. You're the best one. Oh, rude. <laughs> Fucking hell. Things I hadn't signed up for. A hilarious accident with a taxi driver. I apologise to absolutely fucking no one. Here I am, right? Let's close this door. So it's our last night in the cabin. <laughs> Offload your stuff and get into bed. It's been a good one. We've had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. had an interesting ride with taxi last night, which has left me with a 16 minute video on my phone, which we might put on the end of a podcast or something, I don't know. Well, Mary, being what we call in the industry, a slack bitch has left her phone at the place we were staying, which means she's got to get the super expensive half an hour long taxi back to go and get it. Silly girl. When will she ever learn? I know what you're thinking. When is she ever going to learn? Probably never, but hey ho. So when we got to the train station, I realized that I didn't have my phone. Checked find mine and it was back at the hotel. So that was a 35 minute Uber. I just had to get by myself. I thought, you know what? I'm stressed out. I've already smoked a bit. I'm going to eat my- Regular cake. And have a really nice journey back. I've never eaten- um, Regular cake. Before. So I hope this isn't a bad idea. In the full thing, but I feel like I'll be fine. 
Now we're going to finally do what we were trying to do yesterday, do some touristy shit and see Amsterdam a bit more. Right, we're off to a museum about the human body. They've asked for a few perfect specimens to practice on. So that's why me and Raz are pulling up real hard. I found you a, I found you a spine. That's cool. <laughs> Not for me, that just... I don't want to see that stuff. I mean, I paid. I knew what I was getting into, but it wasn't for me. But they're just a bit busy, so we're gonna get the boat in two hours. So maybe we can spend two hours looking for a bag of crisps. We've all just ordered a drink. Everyone's got a lovely little beer, but I wasn't feeling the beer. I thought I'd have something else, so I ordered a nice, big, fresh bottle. Look at that, please. Oh, that is awful, Dan. He's not going to drink. Oh my good god, he's going <laughs> to... Nice. Have another one then, if it's that nice. No, I'm full. <laughs> Go on, have another. Oh, all right. <laughs> no way. <laughs> You gotta drive the boat later. It's gonna as well. be one of those, you know, where like the on the ass after that. <laughs> <laughs> happy as days drinking it. Happy as days, the old saying, happy as days. <laughs> Do you know all women, all cows are women? No, wait. Yep. Yep. Last time we did this, it was with a different squad, and it's safe to say this is a much better squad. <laughs> Amsterdam on the random boat It's nothing new to us, yeah, it's actually what we did before But this shit costs a lot and we really need to make back the dough So we can't get a copyright strike, so here's a new original you know. Oh, Razzy, he sell a book so good And then we crack open the board And then we smoke a little booze It's the same rhyme Now this about the fifth or sixth time that we've been to Amsterdam We meant to do it big this year, yeah, we meant to go to Japan But every single week when you got a festival to attend You cannot make that happen, so let's get the boy here with our friends Catch a motherfucker like me on a boat, yeah Nobody up floor right now is fly as my squad now nah. Got any chicken and mushroom pot noodle? Get rid of it now. Oh. We're not taking it back. Please. No. But what if they say yes? You've got chicken and mushroom pot noodle at home. Can't handle a joint. Yeah. <laughs> we hope that you've had fun watching us. This is our first vlog in a little while. It won't feel like it when it comes out. It's the first one we've done in a little while, so it might be a bit rusty, but we're just warming up for festival season, which starts next week. But it'll be the end by the time you watch this. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Bye. The chaotic energy of this video is something that I love. I'd totally forgotten all about this trip and all about this video. I edited most of it last year. Um, this took place about 12 months ago and we just kind of kept it in the bank because we didn't know when to release it and we were going to release it this week and then but we got another video where we go to some festivals like three in a weekend and I was working on that one but I thought Do you know what the Amsterdam one is good fun hopefully you guys have enjoyed it um, I want to say a massive thank you of course to all the people whose names are on screen right now these are our supporters on Patreon um, if it wasn't for you guys we couldn't go to Amsterdam we couldn't go to all these festivals we couldn't um, keep bringing you all this content that we love to bring you so thanks so much for supporting the channel with your hard-earned cash I know how hard it is to earn cash in this day and age so it really isn't lost on us all that you do for us and we really really appreciate it next week we might get that video where we go to three festivals we might get uh, another festival video we're starting to ramp up now into the season I know it's only February but we're starting earlier than ever so yeah good things to come thanks everyone love you all and um, see you soon bye bye oh, I'm so <laughs> <laughs>
is the one-stop shop for all your sleep needs. I've been lucky enough to get one of their mattresses. You look so raised, start that line again. I've been lucky enough that they sent me one of their mattresses and I've never had a better night's sleep than I've had the past month with this mattress. It's the best one. Now we know, I love... That's gonna get too loud, isn't it? Yeah. Ready? Yep. Oh, gee, oh. oh, that was a great night's sleep. Just the sleep I need to tell you all about our great sponsorship. Ready? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so, <that's> so... <laughs> nice. In the duvet, you got the pillow, you're on top of the mattress. <laughs> oh. Now I'm back in bed. You can see I'm cocooned in my lovely Emma Sleeps duvet. Top of Emma Sleeps. See? Already brilliant, brilliant promotions? Already brilliant promotions? You just said it a hundred times. I don't know why it's slipping. Already brilliant promotions.